All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game One Life. My name is Typo, and this is Starfield Part Forty Eight. And uh, I have no time to record this. I really, really don't. But I don't want to end the streak of recordings. And this is supposed to be a shorter. Ooh, nice. It's supposed to be a shorter. Um. Yes. It's supposed to be a shorter episode anyway because of how long last time was. Um, it's gonna be a short episode, I'm sorry, but this is like 20 minutes before I usually wake up before a school day because I just, I have had no time, so let's go ahead and loot the area real quick. Wood advanced lock. Okay, let's see if I do better today with this. I know last episode we were doing awful with opening these locks. Here we go. Um, yeah, that'll work. And then this... Perfect. Okay. Yeah, so I'm sorry how short this episode's gonna be, but... Emergency kit. That might be our first emergency kit. That's a new one. Okay. Yeah, I wonder if this is true or not. <laughs> Collect a hematite sample. Okay. Oh, wow. That's a super rare sample. A four star? Does that make it unique or something? You gotta wonder. Because that's kind of nuts. Okay, then we run it through here. Okay. Posit the sample. Okay. Collect the research. Alright. Collect data. Um, contact Cambridge again. All right, I can do that. All set. Good. Uh, you can take the elevator in that room back to the surface. There should be a key stashed in the thresher room. If the spacers didn't make off with it, I'll be waiting at the circle. Okay. Hopefully this works the way we intended it to. But you know, <laughs> I guess we'll find out, won't we? Um, this goes higher though. What's all supposed to be in here? Varun heretic writings again. What's with all the Varun heretic writings in this place? What's that all about? Interesting. Okay. Let's go ahead and hit the surface. Oh, uh, and I... Man, I really hate fast traveling, but... Deep Mind's employee <laughs> exit, okay. Yeah, this is gonna be so far away. Oh man, I really don't have time for this. But I, I also really despise fast traveling. Alright, I guess I'll make an edit. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, I don't think I can fast travel right now anyway because I'm over in cupboard, so it's all the same anyway. Alright, I'll see y'all there. No. Oh. Alright, here we are after limping and struggling our way back. <laughs> Yikes. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave um, this contraband we found here. And then the next time we come back to Cydonia, I bet you Trade Authority would buy that contraband if we can... If we just wait until they have money again. Because right now they don't have money. Um, we, we already took all their money when we first got here. But I think we'd be able to sell those Varun Heretic writings next time we're here. I'm just dropping stuff off in the cargo hold because we're way over encumbered. For good reason. We, ki we killed a lot of spacers and took a lot of weapons off of them. 
I'm gonna have to look more at uh, what items we should have kept in our inventory later, because right now I just don't have the time. Um, sorry about the rush and all that, but I really didn't want to let it. I didn't really didn't want to put out nothing, you know. And I do really like playing Starfield, so even though I feel rushed, I'm still glad I'm playing the game. Okay. But here we are. Let's make it happen. No longer over encumbered should make it easy. Hopefully this does what we need to do for it. For Percival. That'd be great. Put the weapon away, I guess. Probably don't be running through the middle of a city with your gun out. Alright. So after we take care of the Vanguard mission here, hopefully this takes care of it. I actually have no idea what we're going to tackle next. So I'll be interested to see what we end up doing. I still can't believe that fall, like, broke one of our limbs. That could have been way worse. What if we had died from that? Imagine. I'm tired from, like, just waking up, trying to do a short recording, and that's how our run ends. That'd be terrible. Let me see. Reduce joint wear? Oh, increase lifting capacity? A dose of this stuff can make a miner way more efficient. This formula's gotta be worth at least as much as whatever Percival owes. Okay, so here's what you do. Tell Octai and the Trade Authority you found a business proposal that will make miners more efficient, higher yield, synergy, you know, all that business crap. Uh-huh. That you'll <clears throat> trade it to him for clearing Percival's debt. You good at doing pitches and stuff like that? I... I am pretty good. Why? Why? I could sell ice to a cold guy. Okay, it's not my forte. <laughs> Alright. You don't want me to ask for money? You can try if you feel confident, but I didn't want to push our luck. Besides, if that drug gets big, I think everyone benefits. So, you think you can sell them on it? I'll give it a whirl. Oh, this is going to be great. Oh, and here, a copy of the formula for yourself. In case you ever want to try maximizing your own industrial output. Oh, snap. Use that if you can. Good luck. That's awesome. More carry weight was part of that recipe, he just said. I didn't know we'd be getting, like, new crafting recipes for doing these missions. But I guess I should have... I guess I should have expected that a little bit. I love it. I'm stuck. <laughs> the way that guy's looking at me. I literally couldn't leave. Like, I was perfectly trapped within the three of them. Okay. Uh, excuse me? Alright, here we go. Paramore, Paramore. Here we go. More persuasion chance, panty affinity, all that good stuff. All right, Sarah, let's convince him. Was there something else? Huh. I have a business proposal for you, a lucrative one. Hmm. I'm never one to turn away an opportunity, but I'd be curious what you think you've uncovered in the Martian market that others have missed. A chem made from aqueous hematite. I call it pick-me-up. Ooh, turn aqueous hematite into liquid credits with my patented new phenomenon. Uh. <laughs> um. Oh, man. Uh. Yes, this one. Aqueous hematite. No one has proposed something like this before. And exactly what does this new drug of yours do? <laughs> this slate shows it's a cure for human weakness. Better workers today. <laughs> Make your miners more efficient. I've got the data here to prove it. Yeah, let's not go overboard on that one this time. Hmm. An interesting proposal, if your data pans out. But where's this hematite coming from? The active mines would be too expensive to retool. The deep mines could be an option, but they're full of spacers. Or 
so I've heard. <laughs> oh, those spaces are very, very dead. You're welcome. Is... Is that so? Yes, it is. Well, that is intriguing. A completely untapped resource pool. And the sort of utility every mining firm in Sidonia would be clamoring to get their hands on. Exactly. They could contract out all the actual lab work. Bring on one of the hungrier mining concerns for materials. The licensing fees alone. And think what it would do for our image with the general populace. He shouldn't be saying all this out loud. He's really selling me on I need more money from it. Thanks to the Martian Trade Authority. Very interesting indeed. And what do you want for the rights to this drug? Uh, I want credits, mounds of them. Okay, I would say that if I actually knew I would be getting more than the debt. <laughs> Damn it. Would we get more credits than he's due? Here, hold up. Hmm. You've returned. Wonderful. Have you thought about the terms of our deal? First off, uh, oh, okay, well, I guess we're doing this then. Um, then I want a bunch of credits, and then I'll scam you out of Percival's debt by hacking into your computer. This is perfect. On well, credits, mounds of them. This is a promising find, certainly. I can see us granting a generous finder's fee in exchange for handing it over was that it and I want you to clear Percival's debt hell yeah Dr. Walker's debt consider it cleared well it would seem we have a deal then here your finder's fee we'll just let's go we got both before you have any second thoughts it was a pleasure doing 3300 credits and we got his debt cleared Bang! Let's go! We did it, Sarah! We scammed Trade Authority. Well, we didn't actually scam Trade Authority. We actually legitimately helped Trade Authority. But don't tell her that. <laughs> we scammed Trade Authority, Sarah. Aren't you happy? You hate those people. I love those people, but you hate those people. Yeah. Took care of Percival's debt to the Trade Authority. Did you now? Fine work. My end of the bargain, then, I suppose. He's holed up in the old Red Devils HQ. The place was sealed up tight after the UC shuttered our unit, but we snuck him in the back entrance through the deep mines. I was also going to warn you about spaces down there, but it sounds like you might have already tossed those drakes. Wow, yeah, we kind of we went right through it, didn't we? And I'll let him know there's someone he owes one hell of a thank you. Interesting. Drill waste room access key. From 10 to 5 in the morning? Yeah, that's... That's actually a pretty short reduced noise. Like, time frame. You would think it'd be even longer than that. That's only 7 hours of sleep max for anybody trying to get some. Huh. Okay. Well, we did the thing, Sarah. We got our information. Is he gonna be right back down there? Just in a different room we didn't open? Oh man, don't make me run back over there again. You can't do this to me! Especially on a day where I have no time. Oh my god. If you're watching this day, the, the day that it came out, you... No, I guess I don't. Oh my god, it actually is back over there. Okay, well, yeah, if you're watching this today, it comes out. The edits probably are processing still. And so, <laughs> you're going to be seeing this episode uh, without the cuts, unfortunately. So just skip ahead in the episode and I'll see you there. Uh, if you're not, then I'll see you there. Alright, so, the quest marker kind of switched areas on me. Okay, there it is. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I was going to say, it kind of switched... 
it switched locations on me. Am I going to actually have to go back the other way area? But no, this, this way still works. All right. We have not touched the ground basically since we left Cydonia. I love it. <laughs> I love these like planets and moons where there's so little gravity that we can just... Sarah, I, how do you do that black magic? I don't understand. Okay, so we were just down here. But I, I guess I didn't keep going when I could have. Yeah, there was more this way. I just forgot to go that way because I was in a rush. Now I guess I'm glad I didn't go this way earlier because then I would have just been tracing my steps again. So that works out. It's a huge tunnel. Huge tunnel. Okay. I guess we're going through this way. Yeah, there it is. Okay. I would have had to retrace my steps if I had done this before. This works out. What do we have here? I don't know what that is. This is the old Red Devil HQ. These poor bastards. This is not a great HQ, if I'm being honest. It's kind of a sad HQ, but maybe it gets better. No, I don't think it's getting any better. <laughs> no, it's not looking that good. Damn, that is really rare stuff. Let me, let me grab some of this. The fact that it's, like, that rare... Even though, honestly, it's... Yeah, it's water and iron. But whatever. I apparently can't find much of this stuff out in the world, so I want to grab it now while I can. Need it for my, my new drug pick-me-up that I've quote-unquote patented. <clears throat> okay, back up we go. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. There we are. Okay. So. No, they didn't miss it. There's lights all over the place. They didn't miss it. The, rev the Red Devils called it home. So they couldn't use it for themselves. That'd be my guess as to what happened here. Oh, if you can't make the jump, you can run around there. It'd be sad if you couldn't make the jump in this gravity. Or if you didn't want to risk it, I suppose. Alright, fine. I'll open it. Wouldn't this be stealing, maybe? Let's not do that, just in case it's stealing. Okay. Okay. I'm, I am kind of excited to see what Percival's going to say about this um, Terror Morph stuff, because I'm super invested in the whole Terror Morph quest line. Sarah, you're an idiot. And so I'm hoping we get more like good information about the Terror Morphs here. I really do. Alright, this should be the cavern he's in. Oh my god. Wow, the Red Devil HQ is probably pretty defendable, huh? You're not going to be able to, unless, of course, you just collapse the cavern. Then it's very easy to take out, I would imagine. Just you wouldn't be able to get anything out of it. Other than some dead Red Devils, maybe. But yeah, that's pretty sick. Not going to lie. That's pretty cool. Just checking for aqueous hematite while I'm out and about here. Oh, boy. There's gonna be, there's gonna be a lot in here, isn't there? Tell you what, let's go talk to Percival, and I guess I'll mine all this aqueous hematite later, because there's there's gonna be plenty in here to mine, off camera. I'll let you know how that goes later. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. let's keep going.
Boy, this place is a labyrinth. It just keeps going. There he is, finally. I cleared your debt, Walker. Correct. You'd be right. Now you want to explain to me why you're going around harassing the various old men by wiping away their hard-earned debts. <laughs> what a harassment. Uh, Dr. Walker, I've got a tissue sample sample I need analyzed. Full workup. Tissue sample? You came all the way down here for that? Must be some damn important cells. You want to tell me what I'm about to be staring at? Um... Tal Gourmet's own free-range, 100% human-fed Terramorph cells. <laughs> Let's not say that, as fun as that is. Terramorph cells from a world too young to have one. Fast-growing Terramorph. That is concerning. Who exactly told you to bring this to me? Hadrian Sanan. All right, let's get some good info here. I'm ready. This is going to be a loading screen, isn't it? Oh, god damn it, Bethesda. <laughs> Whatever, it's okay. I don't hate him as much as some other people do, but it's a shame. All right, third detachment of the Red Devils. Wow, it's just it's just take, it's not steal. It's pretty generous. All right, let's keep moving. Got some projects in the works down here. I wasn't expecting guests. There's a star tar there. That's worth a lot of money. I know that for a fact. Well, maybe not that one specifically, but star tars in general. Right. All right. What do we got here? Londinian. The Terramorphs that are like completely overrun? You're not lying to me? Because if you told me this was a hoax, and it'd be the best damn fake I've ever seen, I'd be mad and very, very relieved. No, not mad. Uh, the sample's not a fake. I collected it from the Terramorph myself. Can't just humor an old man, huh? Nah, sorry. It's, uh, it's got all the indicators of the worst Terramorph attack in human history. I presume you've heard of Londinian. Yes, the one that got completely overswarmed, yeah. Hadrian mentioned it. Sounds like quite the tragedy. It was. The entire city wiped off the map. The swarms are so bad, they had to blow the spaceport and seal the place off from the galaxy at large. Not a lot of samples made it off the world from the time of the attack. But the ones that did, well, they look just like this one. Oh, well, isn't that excellent? Didn't detect any of the telltale signatures this specimen ever sat on a ship while it was alive, either. <coughs> I don't think it was transferred. Really? Falsetti. This specimen, it grew there. Faster than any Terramorph should. Oh, shit. Which means, if we're about to start a new era in human Terramorph relations, where big, sudden Londinian-style attacks can happen outside Londinian, that's not going to end well for it would be the end of us as a species. So you lugged this bad omen all the way here. You want to tell me what your plans are for it now? Wait, so are you saying that, like, the whole galaxy is now going to be having way too many Terramorphs? Isn't that kind of a jump? Wouldn't we now be saying that now there's a second planet where this is happening? I mean, obviously that indicates that any planet can all of a sudden have Terramorphs growing too fast, so it's always a possibility but we're not just saying that all of a sudden Terramorphs are going to be growing out of control everywhere, right? Um, Get your boots on, we're going to stop any more attacks before they start. But you said the Londinian attack was massive, right? Why is one-odd Terramorph so scary? Because until now, the Terramorphs that wiped out Londinian had the good sense to stay put. What happened there? It was a tragedy, but at least it was contained. So to find evidence for a similar attack on a different world, 
Well, we don't have enough information to know precisely what this means, but I doubt it's good. Yeah. So I'd love to know what it is you're planning from here. Okay, the fact that there's no markers of it ever being on a ship is what I'm worried about. Because I had a running theory in my brain that Ryujin botanists, or something along those lines... Sorry, that's my alarm saying I definitely have to stop, but let it, let's just finish this conversation. Um, I had a theory that Ryujin botanists were bringing the alien eggs for some kind of test to these different planets after they were well enough established. Because on two occasions while I've been surveying, I killed a Terramorph, and around the Terramorph were, was three Ryujin botanists and an alien egg between them. So, I had a theory that they were being brought to these places, obviously by ship, by human beings. But, unless it doesn't count because they're being brought in an egg, that kind of busts my whole theory. If... if the Terramorphs actually have a way of reproducing to other planets in a way that we can't see. Not only am I super confused because of the vast distances involved, but I'll be extremely intrigued to see what exactly is happening. I'm so baffled by this whole series of events. Orders are to take you in that analysis to Hadrian. She should be waiting at the Sixth Circle. circle huh? Could use a drink about now. Here, faster we take the lift to the surface. Not supposed to use it. Given the circumstances, I'm inclined to just ask forgiveness. Let's get going. Dr. Percival Walker is now following you. Meet, okay. Uh, sure. You know, I'm going to look around this headquarters first, though. Uh, God, I really have to stop, but I really don't want to. This is the problem with Starfield, is it gets me wrapped up, and then I, and then I don't stop. Uh, Baldur's Gate 3 does the same thing. It really is a golden age of gaming for me right now because I love both of the games we're playing on the channel. They're both so good. Um, just doing a quick sweep. Though it looks like I'm not going to be missing too much other than a star tower upstairs from what I've seen so far. No? Okay. Some workbenches, but we can use a workbench at some later time. Here we go. Ship energy weapons permanently deal 5% more damage. See, that would have been a bummer to leave behind. That would have been a real bummer to leave behind. Good, that was taking and not stealing. I, okay, origin of species we could probably give to the book collector later. Uh, okay. Again, there was a star tar upstairs I want to go look at. Otherwise, looks like we've more or less cleared the place out. And I'm going to be mining the aqueous hematite um, between this episode and next episode, so you guys don't have to watch that. Because it's really just going to be me mining over and over. Sorry, Sarah. <laughs> they didn't just entertain it, they... um. They did it. We we I've I've read and seen things that say that they've they've done it. Ornate Startar score money. All right, that's probably it for in here. So if I find something else, I'll let y'all know. But otherwise, I'm gonna go mine some aqueous hematite, and I'll see you guys back in Cydonia for the next one. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. If you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. But either way, thank you so much for joining me on this journey. <laughs> in Starfield. It's so good, and I'm sorry I'm having to cut it short like this, but I really do gotta go. I'll see all of you next time.